Hold on tight, everyone, because the U.S. Treasury market is taking us on a wild ride. The financial world is buzzing, and it's not without reason. We've just witnessed a plunge in Treasury bond prices, a drop so dramatic it's got everyone talking. This isn't just a minor blip. It's a significant event that could have far-reaching consequences. Imagine a roller coaster plummeting from its peak. That's what's happening to bonds right now. The sudden decline has left investors and analysts scrambling to make sense of it all. But what does this all mean for you and your money? It's not just about the numbers on a screen. It's about real-world impacts on your savings, investments and financial plans. Don't worry, I'm here to break it down in plain English. We'll delve into the factors driving this market turbulence and what it means for everyday investors like you. First, let's talk about the Federal Reserve. Their policies and decisions play a crucial role in the bond market. When the Fed makes moves, the ripple effects can be felt across the entire financial landscape. We're going to explore the reasons behind this market roller coaster, from interest rate changes to economic indicators. Understanding these elements can help you navigate through the uncertainty. The Federal Reserve's role is pivotal. Their actions, whether it's raising or lowering interest rates, can significantly impact bond prices. We'll look at their recent decisions and what they might mean for the future. And, most importantly, discuss what you should be doing to protect your investments. Diversification, risk management and staying informed are key strategies to safeguard your financial health. Get ready to learn how this treasury tumble could impact your financial future. By understanding the dynamics at play, you can make informed decisions and stay ahead of the curve in these volatile times. Now, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, the Federal Reserve, also known as the Fed. Just recently, the Fed made a move that sent shockwaves through the market. They cut interest rates. This is a big deal. Think of interest rates as the cost of borrowing money. When rates are high, borrowing becomes more expensive. When rates are low, borrowing becomes cheaper. The Fed's decision to cut rates was like hitting the brakes on the economy. They're trying to slow things down to prevent inflation from spiraling out of control. So, why did the Fed decide to cut rates now? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? To understand the Fed's current strategy, we need to take a trip down memory lane to 1995. Back then, the economy was facing similar challenges, and a man named Alan Greenspan was at the helm of the Fed. Greenspan believed he could steer the economy to a soft landing, a gradual slowdown without crashing into a recession. Guess what? He pulled it off. The economy cooled down, inflation remained in check, and the markets breathed a collective sigh of relief. Now fast forward to today. The Fed is hoping to repeat history by orchestrating another soft landing. But can they do it? The big question on everyone's mind is whether the Fed can pull off another Greenspan-like manoeuvre. The economic landscape is vastly different today than it was in 1995. We're grappling with global uncertainties, trade tensions, and technological advancements that were unimaginable back then. Some experts believe the Fed is acting too cautiously, while others argue they're not doing enough. It's a delicate balancing act, and only time will tell if they can strike the right balance. But for now, let's delve into one particular indicator that has traders feeling optimistic. Section 5. Two-Year Yields. A glimmer of hope. In the world of finance, there are these things called yield curves, which sound complicated but are actually quite simple. They are essential tools that help investors and analysts understand the relationship between interest rates and the time to maturity of debt securities. 
A yield curve is just a fancy chart that shows the interest rates on bonds of different maturities. It can take different shapes, such as upward sloping, flat, or even inverted, each telling a different story about the market's expectations for future interest rates and economic activity. Think of it like a timeline for interest rates. The shape of the yield curve can provide insights into the economic outlook, inflation expectations, and the overall health of the financial markets. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The yield curve is not just a static chart. It evolves over time, reflecting the changing sentiments and expectations of market participants. The difference between the interest rates on two-year Treasury bonds and 10-year Treasury bonds can tell us a lot about what traders are thinking. This difference is known as the yield spread, and it serves as a barometer for market sentiment. Right now, that difference known as the yield spread is shrinking. A shrinking yield spread often indicates that investors are becoming more optimistic about the near-term economic outlook. This shrinking spread suggests that traders are betting on a soft landing. A soft landing refers to a scenario where the economy slows down just enough to curb inflation without falling into a recession. They're essentially saying, we think the Fed will be able to lower interest rates in the near future, which is a sign of confidence in the central bank's ability to manage economic growth and inflation, which will boost the economy without causing inflation to skyrocket. This delicate balance is crucial for sustaining long-term economic growth and stability. The current trends in the yield curve and the shrinking yield spread offer a glimmer of hope that the economy can navigate these challenges successfully. Even with glimmers of hope, it's crucial to remember that we're sailing in uncharted waters. The economy is a complex beast and predicting its every move is impossible. The recent plunge in treasuries serves as a stark reminder that the markets can change course quickly. What seemed like a sure bet yesterday can evaporate overnight. That's why it's essential to stay informed, diversify your investments, and avoid making impulsive decisions based on fear or speculation. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. By staying focused on your long-term goals and making sound financial decisions, you can weather any storm. As we look ahead, two key factors will shape